Hi guys, uh, I'm Randy Wedick. I'm the technical consultant at Band Pro Film and Digital. Um, here at NAB 2014, we have kind of focused on making 4K a reality. Um, we started out years ago with the F65 and with the Leica Sumalux lenses, and now we've released a lot of other uh, stuff. We've got the Leica Sumicron lenses, F55 cameras, Canon cameras, RED cameras. We've got a lot of stuff. All of us have known on the content creation side that uh, Sure, we can shoot 4K, but now we can edit it, we can do dailies processing, we can do uh, even display. We've got a huge amount of consumer 4K displays here. So basically, what we wanted to show was that kind of completed the circle here with uh, not only showing capture, acquisition, data, all that stuff, but also uh, presentation. So we've got, um, like I said, a t uh, video audio center is a uh, company that we have uh, aligned with for the purposes of this booth to show all of Sony's next-gen 4K home panels that aren't even available in the States. We got them shipped in from Japan. On the camera side, uh, we've got a sort of a new direction from Sony, which in the past has uh, typically come out with tons of new camera models every year. And in a change of track that's made a pretty big hit with a lot of our customers. They're focusing on really improving the F55 and F5 cameras. So they've released a software version 4.0, which um, in terms of my usage, um, I like it a lot because one of the new features in that is that you can actually make lookup tables, 33-sided uh, lookup tables, like pretty complex uh, camera looks, and export them from DaVinci straight into the camera, and then you can select uh, instead of needing to have kind of a, a whole setup, you can load the looks into the camera and quickly choose between them, route them out to your monitor outs, your viewfinder, or even the recorded media. So um, that's really neat. They've added a uh, cache record and a couple other great functions. Um, but my sort of specialty in this uh, booth is, is doing the workflow. So we've um, piped some different log feeds out from the cameras into Technicolor's DP Lights 2 system. Uh, Technicolor is one of our guests in the booth here. And basically, uh, they've got an entire uh, live grading system that's based on color front uh, technology. And uh, you can send in two cameras, create looks, and then apply those looks, output those looks all to you know, across the set to a lot of different people. We've got, um, in that case, we've got it running over take a log look from the cameras, put a look on it at the DIT station, and we push that over to the Ovide Smart Assist system. It's a kind of an all-in-one, all-inclusive uh, video assist system based on QTAG software, but it's built in a really portable system. It could fit in a Pelican case, so if you have some pretty crazy location shooting in remote locations or you need to hike up to the fifth floor of a New York City walk-up and you don't want to bring your massive cart with you, you can bring this thing with you and uh, you can run a fully functional video village from this system. Um, it's very sophisticated. After that, um, we've, we've played back the shots and reviewed them on set. Now we have a full mag, we want to download them. We've got a uh, Codex Vault here we use for downloading footage, verifying it, and now we have a new module called the Review Module not only will you verify the data and get a sh make PDFs that show that you verified the data, you can play the data back uh, in 2K or 4K resolution, and you can um, put lots on the image, zoom in, check for stuff, make notes. You can um, really securely verify the data in terms of like checksumming, but also in terms of just putting your eyes on a screen. Um, one of the last, the last station we have on our kind of workflow row is um, CinePost, it's a company we work with a lot with our German office. And um, they have a software program called Copra. The Copra takes the uh, rendered dailies. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of these systems, our color front system, for example, renders out H.264s. The Ovide Smart Assist system also renders out H.264s. They're compatible with this Copra system. The H.264s go into the Copra server. The Copra server can then securely allow other parties to access the footage. You can watch the footage back on an iPad, cruise through it, circle takes, review takes, 
make freeze frames, draw on the image, write in text notes, and then uh, collaborate with people. And you can now they've added kind of like a hashtag interface. You can make, you can tag certain shots, and then uh, make your own smart playlists. Um, so basically, you know that gets from the camera through the review process into the download and archive process up to the executive review process. So that basically handles the entire front end acquisition side up to editorial, which is kind of where we bow out. For more information, check out BAMPRO.com for our US website and BAMPRO.DE for our German website. <laughs>